Okay, so you can see I've uh, got a box of CDs here. I've just finished um, scanning them in and putting them on my Google Play, and I wanted to uh, take a minute and share with people um, that probably are using iTunes, you know, how much better this is for you. Uh, it's time to ditch your iTunes. If you're tired of all the updates and having to have iTunes installed and, and possibly you're not using their cloud service or you're moving your library around all the time, it's time to uh, move your uh, music up to Google Play. And you can see um, it's taken a while to do this for me. Uh, I've got uh, 5,727 5, songs up there. Um, it's all, you know, it's all pretty much organized. I mean, the, the parts that aren't organized are things I need to work on myself, uh, but my iTunes was the same way. Uh, you can do, you know, songs, artists, albums. Um, it'll also do sort of um, instant mixes, so based on genre and, and things that you uh, indicate that you like. So um, it has a small uh, uploader program. Um, you can also download your, your library. Um, it, you can also download the songs that you've purchased possibly through Google Play. Uh, and uh, I would recommend everybody do this. The people I've shown have been pretty impressed. Um, and I'm not even using iTunes to import my, uh, my music. Um, in the past when I did it with iTunes, I would hear a clicking sound. I, I, I was going to MP3 and I'm not sure what the issue was. So I removed iTunes a long time ago. I'm using this uh, CDEX. It's a free program out there. I've got a CD in right now. I'll just show you how it works. So you can uh, re pull your pull your uh, meta information in for your CD and your tracks. And then uh, I've got mine set to a relatively high bit rate. I believe it's 256. Um, and incidentally, Google Play does have the scan and match feature, which is free, unlike Amazon and uh, Apple. And uh, if you've got even a 128 um, kilobit song. Uh, and they have it in their library, you're going to get a 320 kilobit uh, song in the cloud because you don't even have to actually upload your music. It basically uh, populates your Google Play with their version of the, of the music. So uh, it's a great feature. Um, the nice thing is I can play it on any computer anywhere, and I believe they allow you to have it up to uh, on up to uh, 10 devices, I think it was, you know, Android devices. I can play this on my phone. I can play this on my tablet. Um, you can even indicate on your tablet or your mobile device uh, which ones you would want to save locally so you, so you can actually save the music to your device and it downloads the songs to your to your device but for the most part um, everywhere I'm located I've got wireless so um, I'm just gonna leave all my music right in the cloud and the nice thing is so some of these things I haven't listened to for years obviously with a big box of CDs like this um, you know, I don't dig to the bottom of the pile to uh, listen to some of the older music, such as Foreigner and Foghat. I mean, but the nice thing is, if I do want to play one of those songs, I can simply uh, click on it and uh, play that music. Um, and then if I get tired of it, I can go back to the old faithful uh, music that I typically listen to. So, okay, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, one thing I didn't mention was that uh, the Google Play Music Manager also will sync with your iTunes directory. So if you've already got all of your CDs imported and you've got your music library in iTunes, when you first install this, it'll ask you, do you want to sync with a directory or do you want to sync with your uh, iTunes? Um, so it's a, it's a quick and painless transition if you've already got all your music in iTunes. Um, and if not, you can certainly uh, take advantage of this free program, CDEX, like I've done. Uh, and I've been working at this box of CDs for, yeah, it's been over a week, close to two weeks, I'd say. Uh, but now all of my music is there. Um, if I want to listen to anything at all, I can come up here. I can find the artist or I can type up songs. So the, the search feature works well as you would expect with a Google service. Uh, and I can just play my music from anywhere. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, leave them below.